Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do a fun painting together. So let's get started. We're going to start off today with the two inch brush and some blue. Tap it, and you'll get an even coat on the bristles. And now you just start in the corners and work across. And then work down. Let it get lighter toward the horizon. Keep it nice and dark up in the corners. Now when you're finished with your sky, you can go into a little bit more blue and paint some water. Now with the one inch brush, go into some white and pull it straight, pull the brush straight through the white, rounding one corner. And now you can kind of begin shaping some clouds. Just throw them in there. Worry about basic shape and form, but other than that, just, just get them in. We'll blend them out, make them look really nice and soft later, but we're looking for the shape right now. Now when you're finished with your basic cloud shape, take a clean brush and just blend out the base, just tiny circles. Just, just blend that base right into the sky, but don't touch the tops yet. Now you can wipe your brush off and just lift the clouds, just fluff them, make them look nice and, and fluffy and, and light. Now when you're done with your clouds, you can take some black on your knife or with your knife, pull it out flat, cut across and get a little roll of paint. And now, you can start forming your little mountain shape. We're just worried about the outside edge. Just get a good shape to the mountain. That's all we're worried about. And now with a clean brush, you can just pull out the bottom of the mountain. This will make it look more misty at the bottom, and it also removes a little bit of more paint, and that'll help us in the next step. Now with your knife, pull your white out completely flat, cut across, and you'll get a little roll of paint. Now using that roll of paint, we'll come up here, and just begin highlighting the mountain. Let the snow break as it comes down the, the uh, mountain there. I'm applying almost no pressure to the knife. That's what makes that snow have those little holes in it. And that's what we're looking for. Now I've just added a little bit of blue to our white. And then you can begin making a shadow side to the mountain. Start with the peak that was furthest back first and then you can bring the closer peak right over that one. Once again, no pressure. Let that snow break as it comes down. Now with a clean brush you can tap in just a little bit of mist at the bottom of this mountain. Be careful not to destroy everything that you did up there, but just, just a little at the bottom. And then you can lift upward. Now with the fan brush and some black and green and maybe some blue. Yeah, and then a little bit of uh, our leftover shadow color for the mountain. So we have this light, chalky color. And with that, we can begin making some distant evergreen trees that, that are right up there. Just tap down with the fan brush. Now when you're done with that, you can take a clean 2-inch brush and pull straight down, and you'll get these little reflections. 
and then go across. And now a little, with a little bit of white on the knife, you can cut in just a little water line. And now back to the fan brush, we can just put in a little piece of land that comes right there. Just pop it in with the fan brush and then maybe there's a few pine trees growing on this. Just push down with the fan brush. Now don't, don't get these too dark yet. We'll make some nice dark ones later. But these should be a little bit lighter than it could than the darkest you can make them. Don't make them just black. We'll do some nice dark ones later. Just pop in all sorts of trees. You can put in as many as you want, but I think this is enough for me right there. Now when you're finished with your trees, you can give them just a little highlight. Not too much yet, but just a little on some of the bigger ones. And you can do a little highlight on the grass too. And when you're done with that, you can take your one inch brush and some good dark green and maybe make another piece of land that lives right there. Now back to the fan brush and we can make some nice big pine trees. Same as the little ones, they're just bigger. Still just pushing down on the fan brush. And now we can add some pine trees to the other side too. Just keep working back and forth and push down. Keep them good and dark. Now with a little bit of brown and white on the knife, you can make a little tree trunk, and just a little in these trees. Most of it will get covered up. Now with a little bit of uh, yellow and green on the fan brush, you can add just a little bit of highlight to these trees too. Let them get darker toward the base. And now while we have that fan brush going, we can add just a little bit of highlight to the grass. I'm adding a little bit of white to my color to brighten it up a little bit. And you can just pop in all that grass. Now with the same highlight color on the one inch brush, you can highlight some bushes down here too. Just give it a gentle little push. Now with a clean dry two inch brush, you can pull down some reflections here too. and then go lightly across. Now with some brown on the knife, you can put in just a little bit of land right out here on the edge of the water. Now with the brown and white, we can add just a little bit of highlight here. Now we can just add a little water line, and then we'll be done. 
So I hope you had fun, and there will be more videos coming, and uh, I'll see you again. Thanks for watching.